welcome back to this new tutorial where we go and explain how the send message action type is working. In this case we're going to use the, the 3D object, actually the screen, the TV screen, this is just a plain mesh uh, with the UV assigned and I did it in 3D Studio Max. So we can use a video on there and we're going to use the action type send message. I will show you in a bit what options we have in order uh, what we can do actually with this action. So we play, we we'll give it the name, we call it, but we will not use a 2D button, to button 2D, but a button 3D because we want to turn this into interactive. So we, when we hover over it, we will play a movie and we can create a separate button to stop it or a trigger area we can set up as well uh, which you can set up as well and then to that a video will start playing on the screen so in this case we're going to select uh, a 3d button then select our screen uh, select the collided type of box will uh, be okay for now then the colors i will leave all of them at the default the action type will use send message add action add so what this does again add the necessary steps on there again you see these options and then we go to the send message action what is our target receiver we want the screen to be as our uh, trigger the receiver so and then the option that we have here that we can send messages to have do something is a transformer, mesh filter, mesh renderer, box collider, all these options over here. And what and what you can do over here as well. All of these will be handled uh, or described in the manual. But we want to have a, a play video. You as you can see, there is no component play video simply because we need to add a movie script called movie player it's is included in a package you just type in movie player once you do do this it will reset the receiver we just drag in and drop again and the, the, the tv screen and suddenly we have a movie player over here then the methods are changed we can either play a movie pause a movie or stop a movie so if, in this case we're going to select play movie and as, is, as is mentioned before, we can then add a 2D button in order to have it stop or we can actually build a 3D uh, like on and off buttons that we can then use to trigger as well. It's, you have to use your creativity or your imagination depending on what you want. We just set the event and that's it. And the material that's on here is it's a video, simple video that I created just for demonstration purposes. So if I now hover over the screen, it will play, start playing my video. And it will, as you see, it also highlights. So it will continue. And as I mentioned, we can create really fast a button just to make a stop so stop movie then again uh, if we go to actions we can use this icon and it will normal and we can make again send action then we say add action add text say stop movie then we do create if we go to stop movie and put it somewhere you want it's completely up to you whether you want to move it then we go to an inspector we just and the tv screen is actually now our receiver what does it do movie player and now we want to have it stopped or we can even pause it if we want so now we just stop, we just hit OK, and now if I hit play again, select our camera, 
go down to play it. If I move up, stops. If I go down again, starts replaying again. So we can either have the option to stop or pause this up completely up to us. So that's for the send message. The next video tutorial will go and handle swap objects. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next tutorial.